Hi everyone, today we are going to cover the concept of validation in SAP. What is validation in SAP? It is a functionality provided by SAP by which we can check the contents of a field in a document and based upon that content we can specify the system what to do. Like we can specify the system to allow the document to be posted or we can specify the system to stop the posting of the document or we can specify the system to show just a warning message and later on allow saving of the document let us see the transaction code and path of path to define this validation in sap the transaction code which we use to define validation is ob28 and the path is spro imd Financial Accounting, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Document, Document Header, Validation is Accounting Documents. So there are uh, three components in validation. One is prerequisite, second is check and third one is message. Prerequisite is a condition required to execute the validation. It is a basic criteria uh, to execute the validation. Check is a condition whether to pass or fail the validation. Message Based upon the results of the check or condition we defined in the validation, if it is a pass, no, no issues. If it is a fail, it will, we can specify the system to show an error or a warning message. So, uh, validation is having three levels. One is document header level, line item level and complete document level. Let us go to SAP screen. Let me show you the validation screen. First, I will show you the path. SPRO, IMG, Financial Accounting, Financial Accounting Global Settings, Document, Document Header. validation in accounting document the same, same screen we can go to by using ob28 here we can see the transaction code as ob28 so let us go to our company code any company code double click on that here we can see there are three levels of validation document header level line item level complete document level let me show you what is header level what is document level complete document level and line item level AP60 so this part of the document we call it as header level like vendor number posting date amount company code this 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 section is called header level and this part of the document we call it as line item level. These two things will get saved in different tables like BSEG in one, BSEG and BKPF tables. Okay, let's go back to validation screen. Just that. Yeah, here. Any step. Here we can see prerequisite check and message. Prerequisite here we can see the condition basic condition to execute the validation. Basic condition is here transition code should be a B60 and the company code should be 2 or CB. If this condition is satisfied, then the validation will move to check. Here the system will check if the document header text is not equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If this condition is met, no issues. If this condition is not met, I mean to say if this condition is a fail, the system will throw this message. So we can specify is it going to be a warning message or an error message like W is referring to warning. E is referring to error. Here you can see different options available to show the error. Here we can see the, the message number. Any number you can select from the drop down. Click on this icon, you can see the list of error messages available. From which we can select. 
this is a brief introduction about the validation uh, let's take an example scenario the requirement is that for any transaction posted to company code to rcb the cost center should always be to rcb underscore cc underscore 31 if the cost center is different from this the system should stop by displaying an error message how we are going to define this scenario in sap system first we update the condition about company code in prerequisite section then we update the condition about cost center in check section then in message section we specify the type of the message like warning message or error message also in this message section we can specify the text of the message by inserting the message number let's go to uh, our sap system go to transaction code ob28 click on new entries give our company code call point 2 give any name to our validation here i am giving as test b hit enter double click on our validation create again click on s give name to our validation here i am giving as test hit enter click on save select our validation and click on create a step give name to our step here i am giving a test click on save then double click on prerequisite double click on structure bkbf click on find enter bukrs which is nothing but company code double click on it click on equal to click on constant give our company code so we have defined our prerequisite as company code should be to rcb double click on check double click on structure bseg click on find give kostl which is nothing but cost center double click on cost center click on equal to click on constant give our cost center double click on message select message type as e referring to error select message number as here we are selecting as cost center entered is in which is nothing but 42 hit on enter click on save go back go back go back to ob28 main screen click on save here we need to activate our validation select from the drop down is activate and click on save with this we have completed the creation of validation as well as activation of the validation let's uh, test this validation using transaction code fb60 first uh, we will try to save the document by updating the correct cost center then the system should not stop from saving next uh, scenario we will try to save the document by updating the incorrect cost center in that case the system should stop from saving and should display the error message so let's go to transaction code fb60 enter vendor number 
invoice date posting date amount as 1000 text enter any gl account enter amount go to cost center field here we are updating the cost center which we mentioned in our validation this is the correct cost center if we if we save now the system should not stop us from saving let's try to save click on save so we can see that we have successfully posted our document now uh, let's try to update the document by using incorrect cost center so in this case the system should stop us from saving the document and it should show as an error message which we uh, defined in our validation let's enter the vendor number invoice date document date amount any amount text any GL account amount go to cost center field here let's try to update the incorrect cost center incorrect means this is different from the cost center which we updated in our validation let's try to save so here you can see that the call in there is a error message displaying this is the same error message we selected in our validation cost center entered is incorrect so this is the same thing right so let's go to ob28 this i wanted to show you ob28 different position no double click on validation good our validation click on message here we can see the same error message which is displayed here click on ok so we have successfully tested our validation thank you